Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate your support. Now I have here my Erin Condren Life Planner. It is the 7 by 9 and I'm about to plan out the next week in my planner. So if you want to see how I put it all together, stay tuned. Alright everyone, so I did say I am getting ready to plan out the next week in January. So this is my current week so far. Today is Thursday. I haven't added too many details yet, but I've been loving this kit so far. I've been enjoying using it, so it's been really fun. We are now going to be going through and planning the week of January 18th to the 24th. So. For that, I did pull this, um, it's kind of a mess, but this November mystery kit from Simply Beautiful Plans. I Unfortunately, I got this too late to use it in November, but I think it is still perfect to use now because it's not very uh, Christmas related. It doesn't really work with the holidays, so it's not, um, I don't have to worry about being too holidays um, after the holidays, if that makes any sense, sorry. Um, it's still early in the morning, so I don't think I've quite woken up yet, but I do love that it has this holographic, uh, foiling to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this kit and it does come with all of these extras. I rarely use a lot of these extras, not because they're not gorgeous, but I just can't fit it all into my planner, but we'll see what we can do this time. So... Enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see a bit better and then we'll go ahead. All right, so I've zoomed you in. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I always start with the washi and the date covers. Now, if you remember, I have talked about this in a previous video. The washi that comes in the kits now are a little too short for the new Erin Condren um, bottom portion. It's off by, I would say, like not even an eighth of an inch. It's so, so tiny. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and make it work. That way we can go ahead and use this kit. So I will put all of this down and maybe some decorative headers at the top and then we'll come back and continue the rest. So here we go. So there we go. We have our bottom washi down and we have our date covers at the top. So I'm going to go ahead now and work on my sidebar. Now for this, I do have this extra bit here. I may use it to cover this up, but I want to see what I'm going to get done first. Now I do have these beautiful um, full boxes. So I think I'm going to choose... I think I want to choose the fox to put at the top. Now, if you know, if you watched my other plan with me videos, I usually start with the bottom of the sidebar, but lately I've been finding that I've been running out of room. So I'm going to start with covering this up first and see where we go from here. So I did that to cover the calendar. Now I want to use this week right here. And let's look at the boxes available, full boxes, these are the full box checklists, and here we go. This is the one I wanted for the meal plan, so I'm going to use this pink one if I can get it off the sheet, there we go. All right. 
it, put that one down. And then I'm going to use, I always want to use these stickers and I always forget. That's why I'm really trying to make sure I use them and now I've lost my sheet. What did I just do with it? There we go. So weekly goals is my next one. And for that, I might do this. Mm, that's a three box checklist, but it has like a title to it. Let's see if there's another option. Hmm. There isn't, but what I can do is maybe pull this up and where did I just put that? Put it right here. And kind of layer it on top to act as the title. All right, so we'll try that and see what that looks like. All right, I think that works. So we have that. And then I guess I do have a bit of room to add this washi at the bottom. So I haven't fully connected it because then I wouldn't have enough room for here, but I did connect it enough to hide the black line, which is the important part. All right, so there we go. So we have that, so that's done. And let's go ahead and maybe add this box right here. Oh wait, there are habit trackers in this kit. If I remember correctly, I might want to use the habit tracker instead. Let's find the habit tracker because I know it's here somewhere. There we go. So we have these habit trackers. I think I might be able to fit the two of them. Let's see. Yes, I think so. All right, so there we go. Now we have our sidebar all done. I am happy with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add the decorative boxes in the middle. And then we can go ahead and plan out the rest of the week from there. I will line this up with the bottom line this time. Try to get it straight though. Okay, and let's put little Bambi next to that one. I love these birch trees, they're gorgeous, and the foiling on it is amazing. I hope one day to be able to add this kind of foiling to my shop. I am working on foiling, I do do some foiling already. But this is just gorgeous. So, and do this one. And then we'll add this big one right here. And then the last tree. All right, I think that looks really good. So that's where we're at so far, I like it. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at what we have planned for this week. I already know that I have two birthdays this week, which is going to <laughs> stress me out because that means it is a busy week trying to think of how I want to, what I want to use to note those birthdays, kind of boxes. Let's see. Oh, I do have these two boxes, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have my sister's birthday, 
on Tuesday. She is turning 36. And then I have my husband's birthday on Friday. And he is super excited that it's on a Friday. And he is turning 43. And I just put that down a little crooked. Let's see if we can straighten it out just a little bit. All right, I think that's a bit better. So I have my birthdays. Let me go ahead and add some details before I forget. So, mom's 43rd birthday. And Lee's 36th birthday. All right, so there we go. We have the birthdays listed. So that's one thing down and one sheet done. So recycle that. And then let's go back to my monthly. So I do have some Zoom calls this week. I do have something on Sunday. And it is payday. And it is recycling day as well. So let me go ahead and... Uh, we have this icon, and all right, let's go ahead and add this recycling bin to maybe this gray label here. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this one down here so it's not right up next to the birthday. And we'll put this recycling bin here. And we will write... Recycling day. All right, we have that. And then on Thursday, it is payday. Let's go ahead and add this pink box. I'm having a hard time pulling out these stickers away from the backing. They keep wanting to stick to the backing. Come on. There we go. So we have that. And we have these bills here. I don't know if I like that too much. And let's see. There's, oh, payday. There we go. We'll use the script. I like the script a lot better. So let's flip this and put it right here. And let me use my tweezers. Try to center that. So, payday. All right, there we go. That is done. Now I want to add my Zoom calls and I want to add the dance schedule for my daughters. Dance and gymnastics, I should say. Um, all right, let's go ahead and use these ones for dance and gymnastics. So we have... I'm going to put these at the bottom. So we have something on Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday. Thursday and... Friday. All right, and there's another sheet done, so I can recycle that one. Makes it a lot easier than having to keep all these sheets. Let me go ahead and add this weekend banner. Sorry, I know I'm jumping around just a little bit, but I want to make sure I don't forget anything. All right, so we have our weekend banner down. And so let me go ahead. Oh. 
I dropped my pen. All right, let's go ahead and we'll add. So we have dance and gym. Dance and gym. And I'll have to go back and look at the exact times. We have dance and gym and then just gymnastics on Friday. So on Friday, I know gymnastics is five to seven each day. It's the dance that has a different schedule. All right, let's look at this week and see. Oh, I didn't list the times in this one. Hmm, that's a problem. I thought I listed the times. All right, I guess not. Let me add what my habit trackers are for. So that is for reading. And All right, everyone, so I got a little interrupted. So I was just adding in that um, I want to track my reading and my planning this week. So I've been really good about keeping on top of all of my planning because if you know, I do have multiple planners, but I do need to catch up on my reading. I had a goal for 2021, which was to read a little bit every day. And so far I have not read a single thing and we are what, what day is today? The 14th. So I've gone 14 days in 2021 and I haven't read anything. And by reading anything, I mean like a book. I haven't actually read a book. I've read other stuff, but I haven't started reading a book. So I want to try to get on top of my reading so that um, I have such a long list of books that I want to read. So I really want to do that. Okay, I'm rambling again. Let's get back to planning. All right, so as I said, I do have a few Zoom sessions this week. So let me go ahead and add those. So I have one on Monday. Let me add this one here. I have one on Thursday. And I will put this here. And then I do have a an event, I guess you would call it, on Sunday. It is what we call an all-day crop, and it's for scrapbooking. It is part of a scrapbook club that I'm part of. Um, so I am doing scrapbooking all day. So I'm going to write all day crop and it's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it is virtual. It is online um, because we are still on lockdown, but we are doing scrapbooking on Sunday. So I'm excited about that. I really need to get caught up on my children's, um, scrapbooks. I'm falling behind. All right. So on Thursday, we have a 7 p.m. Zoom with Michelle. And then on Monday, it is a 9 p.m. Zoom with Michelle. All right. Now, one of these Zooms is because I am part of uh, Plan with Michelle. I am part of her business Patreon level. So we do talk about business on Monday. And that's to help with, um, you know, Etsy shop and all that kind of stuff if you do run a small business. And then on Thursdays, also with Plan with Michelle. But this one is specifically about um, YouTube. So we talk about YouTube anything new that comes up, how to read analytics and that kind of stuff. And that was part of her, she's a YouTube boss Academy, which I will link down below. If you have a YouTube channel that you are trying to grow and you want to learn all the things about YouTube to help your channel, um, you want to take that course. It was a huge lifesaver for me. It changed everything when it comes to YouTube. So it was awesome. Awesome course. I loved it. All right, now Monday I also have, so in the evening, I have, so training night, mm, 
is 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I wrote that too big so it didn't fit in the box. And then I do have a debrief at 9 p.m. Which kind of interferes a little bit with my Zoom, but um, I try to make it, it usually it's about five minutes. So D brief. So we have that. Um, I don't really have anything going on on Monday, except I am working from home still. So I wonder if I need to add stickers for that. Probably not, because working from home is pretty, pretty routine for me at this point. Let's add this flat lay. We'll add this flat lay here because it is cute and we will add one sticker let's see maybe add this one here come on so yeah so i'm still teaching from home um i will be teaching from home probably well right now it's until january 22nd and then we're supposed to go back to in-person learning on January 25th. However, our COVID numbers keep going up. So I honestly think that they may be extending how long we will be working from home uh, or how long school will be happening from home. We'll do online learning because it's just it's getting ridiculous out there. It really is. All right, on Wednesday, let me go ahead and just add this flat lay for planning um, because I do need to. Let's try to line this up a little bit. I do need to get on top of not necessarily planning like this, but in terms of my social media and um, Etsy, I need to get on top of some things and I just tore that sticker. Wonderful. All right, well, maybe we are supposed to do this color then. We'll do this one right here. I think that works. And uh, we'll do the time to plan right there. And then I can probably put something here just in case anything pops up on Wednesday put that one there all right so we have that Wednesday is pretty empty for me I don't usually have a lot going on on Wednesdays but I am going to leave this space here just in case anything comes up um, because you never know and then on Thursday like I said it's payday I have zoom then we have dance also, um, I do play uh, bingo with some friends online. It is not for money. We do not play for money. We just play for fun, something to pass the time while we were we are home uh, on lockdown. So that also, actually, I think it's starting now at 8 p.m. So bingo with Ashley so this like I said is just for fun unfortunately not unfortunately but a lot of the ladies that play this bingo are the you know the older ladies that really like going to the bingo halls um so they they like to do that to pass the time I just do it to be with a couple friends my sister plays as well so it's fun um so I'll just join in on that if I have time and then all right let's go ahead and look at Friday and Saturday uh, Friday and Saturday, I do want to get quite a few things done. So let me go ahead and put these half boxes down. Put that one and we'll put the, this one on Saturday. Now, uh, wash and fold is usually on Sunday. I usually do laundry on Sunday, but um, I'm going to move it to Saturday since I will be busy on Sunday. So we'll put that on Saturday and I do need to, well, I could add this cute little icon. I don't need it, but I will. It's just too cute. Let's add that there. 
on Friday. Let's see, what can I do? I need to. I will need to catch up on orders. So let me write. Catch up on orders. So any orders that I get throughout the week, uh, I want to make sure that I get caught up on Friday so that I can mail them out. And I think that is pretty much it. So I still have a lot of empty space. I'm not a big fan of all of this empty space. However, I don't want to necessarily fill that space in case I need to add anything. Let me just go back to the monthly just to make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I'm not really missing anything. So what I might do is I might just leave this. Um, I do like this washi. I never get to use the scalloped washi. Let me see. I might add some at the bottom here. Just, I don't need all of this space. So it might add a little little something extra. We'll add some here to the bottom of this page. Let me get my knife and we'll try to cut this somewhat straight. All right, so we have that and let's add a bit at the top here as well since we don't have too much to add. I think it just adds a nice touch. And it's just a little too big. So we'll just trim it down a little bit. All right, let's see if I cut that properly. No, nope, I don't think I did. I'm always afraid of cutting through my actual planner page. So I tend not to push hard enough to cut through the sticker. All right. There we go. I think that adds a little bit of an extra touch to it. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the rest of this space empty because stuff usually comes up. Either some other meeting, some other things to get done. So I'm going to leave this space empty. So this is essentially my plan for this week. Let me just gather all of my sheets here since they are all over the place. So I have these. I still have some glitter headers. I have one scallop strip, the numbers, all of this deco, and then some more um, scripts here. So I think that is essentially it for my plan with me for this week. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it gives you a good idea of how you can plan your week. And I absolutely love this hollow foil. So, all right, that's it for me. I will see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.